Hey guys, hope you're well. We're going to do one more NES challenge tonight. And this time we're going to play Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles on the NES. Very fun. Um, a little bit of history on this though. I found a lot of fans were disappointed because around the same time that this was available on the NES, at least in Australia, people were already used to the arcade game that was in all the amusement parks and the shopping centers and things like that. And it was a really fun beat em up by Konami. So when this came out in console initially, I think everyone was quite disappointed because it wasn't what people expected. And the graphics weren't really authentic to the cartoon, which was probably the biggest issue for me as a kid. Um, but obviously later on, they brought out the arcade version of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and the NES, and it was a good effort considering the downgrade in power. With all that being said though, um, this is a pretty good platforming game in its own mind, albeit in its own right rather, albeit slightly frustrating at times. Let's see how we can go over a 10 minute time period. It's one of those games where we can see if we can get a high score and get pretty far. Hopefully we should make it to the section in level 2 where you can defuse bombs, which is notorious in this game. I'd love to show you how tricky it was back in the day. Looks like we're taking on Bebop already, it's pretty early in the game, you'd think, hey, he's one of the main henchmen. He's done. Okay, now that makes no sense. I got up to April, and Rocksteady still took her away. I was there. How did that not make a difference? I think that other manhole at the bottom's a dead end from memory. I have played this once or twice over recent years, not recently though. So I do remember a couple things. Get you, Mr. Frogman. Ugh. Screw him, Leonardo's overrated anyway. Yeah, you have to clear all the normal enemies out before the boss appears. So you can't cheat and just walk past and the game encourages you to kill everything first. That was a waste of a character, wasn't it? <laughs> I think there's a pizza around here somewhere soon. That really sucks. I must be quite good at this as a kid, I don't know what's happened. Why is it you're always better at video games when you're a kid? Chainsaw guy's easier, so I don't mind. Awesome. This is a spam attack all over. So yeah, when you watch the video guys, feel free to share your high scores for this game as well. And how far you can get in 10 minutes. Not really being a competitive gamer. I'm not such a speedrun sort of person. I'm just really trying to show you as many NES games as possible. Just having fun. Talk a little shit along the way. I think Rocksteady's up here if I remember correctly. One thing I like in this Ninja Turtles game is at least all the bosses 
have their own patterns, so you can beat them if you use skill. Remember in the arcade game, it was just uh, you get up close and personal, you'd hit an enemy, they'd hit you back. I didn't feel like there was any real skill to evade enemy attacks, I just felt like it was a way of the company to extort coins out of you. I felt like in the arcade version you'd get hit no matter what. I don't care, it was still an awesome game at the time. Hmm, it might help actually stay at a distance. Yeah, buddy. April better give me a kiss, that was a lot of effort. Well, honey buns, I'll definitely do my best. his life. There are certain sections in this game where you can uh, rescue your friends if you go to the right room. They'll be being held captive and if you can collect them then you get them back in your team. So they don't essentially die, they just get captured. Especially you don't get to find them often enough or when you need them, that's for sure. The game's very hard and from memory you only get a couple continues when you're playing. If I don't miss a jump up the top there, I'm pretty sure we're gonna make it to the notorious underwater bomb level. So I'll at least be able to show you that before the end of the 10 minutes. Oh, that's frustrating. Ran out of talent. So anyway guys, this is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Fans either love this game or hate this game. My honest opinion, despite some frustrations, I think it's a good platforming game in its own right. It's just very difficult and frustrating. Is it one of my favourite NES games? No. But it's in my top 50% at least, not my bottom 50%. That might be a little... not be generous enough, but it could probably even make my top 25%. Only got a minute, so let's see if we can go underwater. No, it doesn't look like it, unfortunately, guys. But either way, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Feel free to subscribe or leave any suggestions in the comments, and we'll see you in the next one.